Well, what do you think about uh, Khabib? Is there something uh, from just watching him, or do, is there something you can imagine uh, if he comes down to the gym that you might learn from the way he moves, the way he approaches wrestling? Oh, absolutely. He's one of the greatest combat athletes of all time. If you can't learn from someone like that, there's something wrong with you. So he emphasizes control. Mm. Yes, he does. And he's absolutely a master of exerting control. Um, the amount of grappling control he was able to put over some of the most difficult people in the world to control was truly astounding. He he beat people from every style. He beat wrestlers, he beat jiu-jitsu players, he beat kickboxers, and he controlled them all in more or less the same way. Um, he has a very underrated bottom game. People think, oh, he's just about stifling top control. But people forget he was taken down on several occasions and ended up in bottom position. And he showed excellent guard work from bottom, um, he was able to get into submission holds readily on opponents from bottom position. He's got an excellent bottom game. Um, uh, he People say, oh, he's just a positional guy. No, he's not. He's got great submissions. Look at the application of his triangle from both top and bottom was top class. He had a sharp arm lock from uh, bottom position. Uh, excellent Kimura. If you look at um, uh, his Kimura finishes in MMA, they were technically very, very well set. Uh, excellent breaking mechanics. Um, he's a, a very, very fine grappler in both submission grappling and MMA grappling. I think we'd probably learn a ton from uh, from moving around with him. Is it possible to learn something about him or about Hodger Gracie or about Gordon by watching them or rolling around them for a little bit? So maybe Hodger and, and Khabib are good examples because they're able to do seemingly very basic things on everybody and dominate them with that. I think Gordon is as well, but Gordon seems to have more preference and range of what he's able to do. It's just, it's almost miraculous how much uh, Hodger can do by just like the same exact thing yeah. on everybody. Yeah. Is that like, uh, is it possible to understand why Hodger or Khabib are so good at very basic positions? Or do you have to feel it? Or do you have to, or is it just something that's developed over years I, I think and years for, and I years? think for most people, for the vast majority of people, it would have to be explained to them. For a smaller group of people, if they felt it, they could try to replicate it. Yeah. And there are a few people who could look at it and have enough knowledge and say, okay, I can see what he's doing. Like for example, Hodger could probably look at video footage of Khabib grappling and say, okay, I understand what he's doing. Um, uh, but the average person it would probably go over their heads.